snoozed a little bit so I snoozed and fell right back into what felt like a deep sleep for eight nine minutes and then the alarm went off again I was like dag nabbit I actually was sleeping pretty well um, so I didn't really want to get out of bed but I went right back I pulled back to See, I, I saw news on Discord that you're getting married. Is that correct? If so, congratulations and condolences. My goodness. Congratulations, man. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. Happy for you. Belts. 
stock taking today. Oh, don't tell me that, Colby. Because I just bought all the Tesla I was going to buy for the year yesterday. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, well. Oh, well. Is what it is. I bought all this Tesla stock I was going to buy for my Roth yesterday. Uh, I probably might buy some more. I have an E-Trade account that I'll probably play with. But for my Roth IRA, I just, it's one of those things I don't day trade or like that. I just buy stuff in it and just let it alone. Love it alone. Don't touch it. But then I might, uh, then my E-Trade account, stuff like that, I'll probably play around with that for a bit. But yeah, uh, caffeine free does not equal sugar free. I was so call it a bad habit or not. I don't know. Every once, you know, it's kind of nice to drink something other than water every once in a while. And so for a while there, I was taking, I was drinking a, a, a sugar free ginger ale every night. Just something kind of satisfies some sugar cravings before I go to bed. No sugar, but. Uh, the grocery store didn't have any, they didn't, I don't know what the heck, they were just, uh, I, there's a small grocery store next to the office, and they did not have any sugar-free ginger ale, uh, and, or sugar-free soda up, or anything, you know, that's not a dark colored soda, sugar-free, so it's like, well, let me, you know, let me look at what other sodas they got, I don't try to like drinking dark colored sodas, um, but, I've heard it's worse for you, uh, phosphoric acid, I don't know if that's true, I haven't looked into that deep, but the problem with a lot of dark colored sodas is a lot of them are caffeinated. So I'm like, well, I don't want to be drinking a caffeinated drink before I go to bed. Um, even if it is sugar-free. So I found the, you know, sugar-free, caffeine-free Pepsi. I know, weird. Uh, we don't really drink Pepsi around here. Most of most Coke products. So I grab it. And like last, there was a couple nights ago. This is true, Drunken. This is true. Um, but I'm drinking it a few nights ago. And I'm like, I'm like, man, why am I craving these? Like, I'm, I'm like, I, I notice, I just note to self, like, man, these are really, really, really good. And I got to look and I kind of half glanced at the can after I drink like two or three of them. This is 150 calories. I'm like, wait a minute. And I'm looking a little closer. It's like, well, it's full of freaking sugar. It's not sugar free. It's only caffeine free. And I'm like, no freaking wonder, you know, I am like craving these suckers. It's like I'm a, it's, it's sugar is a powerful, powerful addictive compound, guys. Like I just, because I was just, I was just, I was thinking to myself, man, I'm really, I'm really liking this for some reason. Because I just, I have not been drinking, I've had very, very little sugar all week. Um, I've been uh, trying to, uh, trying to cut weight. By about seven or eight pounds, I'm finally starting like, all right, time to get serious about this. Let's, let's lose some, uh, some weight here and so I've been doing uh, two day two times a day I'll do a protein shake a peanut butter uh, chocolate peanut butter protein shake and then um, lots of yeah, like three or four eggs for one meal and some rice and so there's some sugar with the rice uh, and then uh, uh, probably some chicken and then a bunch of cottage cheese when I say a bunch of cottage cheese I generally eat that before I go to bed because it's got what's called casein protein, which is a slow absorbing protein that uh, generally satisfies, keeps your appetite at bay for a longer while. But uh, because I, I used to have problems when I've cut weight before with um, wake up in the middle of the night hungry, and it's like, oh, that's the worst feeling. Worst feeling. If it tastes good, it's bad for you. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, definitely one rule to partially absurd. Trigger free AW root beer is caffeine free as well. Cop that fruit of beer. Yeah, I, I I think I might do that next time. Which yeah, so I mentioned the you know that light color, bright color so not the greatest for either. This is true drink carbonated beverages supposedly Again, I have not looked into this very closely. I'm just some claim I've heard for a long time. Uh, carbonation um, 
actually causes your bone to lose calcium. I don't know to what degree that is true or not true. I've not researched that in a very long time. That is a claim I've heard. Uh, definitely sugar is bad for you. Don't drink sugar. Now that being said, jury is still kind of out how bad artificial sweeteners really are for you relative to sugar. But, uh, but yeah, so there's all that. I'm fully aware. Of course, you know these lits. I get these lits by the case. They're my pre-workout. It's kind of like my morning coffee. They're carbonated. Which, by the way, if you live in the continental United States and you have a GNC near you, GNC has got a buy two get one free um, with uh, with. Uh, all a lot of their products, including lit. You can buy case, you can buy cases of lit and get, you know, buy buy ten of them and get, you know, five cases free. So pretty nice. Get some Jolly Water Rancher watermelon, green apple, and, and cherry. Those are the best flavors. And uh, try it out. You can buy it by the can, or you can buy it by the case. It comes out like a dollar forty a piece. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it does taste good. And as far as I know, it's not that bad for you. It's just carbonated, sugar-free pre-workout. Which, all your pre-workouts are sugar-free anymore. But, that's why I like, I like drinking in the morning. Um, and I also heard a little, I was listening to Joe Rogan the other day, and one of the things he was talking about, or I can't remember what his guest was, was, you know, caffeine doesn't necessarily give you energy. It keeps you from feeling the lack thereof. And so um, it's uh, it blocks what's called adenosine, which is a uh, amino acid, if I understand. That makes you feel tired. Um, it's kind of your body's cue to, you know, settle down. Well, your body has its own adenosine filtration system. Um, that uh, when you wake up, your body's starting to filter out of your blood, right? Well, the idea is that, hey, don't drink caffeine in the first two hours of waking up, um, hour to two hours of waking up, because you want to give your body a chance to clear out all that adenosine on its own, and then you drink your caffeine, because that's what caffeine does, it's a, it's a adenosine blocker. Uh, zero sugar power, white cherry to avoid the dyes, uh, and, uh, sugar, uh, arrow sugar, so you say I want to do much Oh, cop that, Colby. Not bad, not bad. Arrow, sugar, Pepsi. I don't even know what that means. I haven't even heard of that. Arrow, sugar, Pepsi. And I used to drink a lot of white cherry. Zero sugar, Pepsi. Okay, so it's got caffeine. Got it. Which is fine, caffeine's not bad. I just don't want to drink before I go to bed, for sure. And I will say, last night I had no sugar before I went to bed. I had a few crispy crackers with my cottage cheese and seasoned salt. And I think I slept reasonably well last night. I, was, I slept pretty deeply. Like I said, I, when, I, when my alarm went off this morning, I was like, uh, I actually woke up out of a deep sleep. Usually, if I'm used to getting up this time, um, you know, my body's kind of working as well, working its way out of a deep sleep, but not this morning. I was like, oh, that's different. So, I, I, def I definitely noticed feeling, I, I like sleeping better, um, not having any sugar. Like, I noticed this last time, especially before I go to bed, no last time I cut a lot of sugars out of my diet, and I just was like, man, I just sleep better. But I also uh, fasted for three, it's just the, um, it's just the power in water. For, okay, copy that, Colby. Ah, copy that, fear to beard, I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Dude, it is going around, everyone's getting sick. Everyone's getting sick, I was just talking to Paul, and he got a cold for like three or four days, and it's like, I'm just, I've been sick twice, I was sick twice last month. It was just colds, you know? We're getting, you know, exposed to all this crap that we weren't exposed to due to quarantine. And yeah, it's, it's 
rough. It is rough. So take your vitamin D3 every day. I'm taking 10,000 IUs, being that's in winter. Uh, 10,000 IUs of vitamin D every day, zinc, colonate, um, you know, vitamin C. Try to keep your immune system supported. 100, 133 years rough. Yeah, that is rough. Been there, done that. Frack. Nothing to do but play video games and binge watch TV shows. Speaking of TV shows, anyone watch? Anyone ever watch Hunters? I guess that season two just came out. I've been, uh, I watched season one a year or two ago when it first came out, and uh, it was actually not what I suspect expected it to be, but it's actually pretty interesting. It's basically about these uh, these uh, uh, a group of Jews that go around assassinating Nazis that have been brought over to the U.S. under Operation Paperclip. It's actually pretty interesting. Not historical, um, at least not uh, not entirely. What's up, Mir? Pretty crazy. Yeah, that's basically a Jew Jewish hit squad. Uh, watched about it on YouTube from Ohio. Well, uh, what's his name? Judy Beard.
cop that fear of beard. Yeah, it's definitely it can be a relief off your mind for sure. You know, it's like when you're when you're you know working a job, you can just quit and go to something else pretty easily. In fact, in some instances, it's really encouraged. Um, hey, good morning, Emily. So you know, much like dating, it's like hey, don't like the person, just stop dating, go to the next person, right?
harsh refund. Yeah, I don't blame them. I don't blame them.
very dark thing to do, but it actually does work. Or cheated, or cheater, or cheating. I've got some really good stuff. Uh, I got some a lot of cool camping stuff. One time I bought a brand new tent, like a brand new eight man tent for like 70 bucks. I got a three four dollar tent from this girl who caught her boyfriend cheating and he didn't know that she knew yet, but apparently it was his or theirs. And so I went and bought it and he goes, oh, by the way, you want this fishing pole? And it was like a brand new open reel fishing pole. I'm like, sure, how much do you want for it? She's like, just take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's that's a good way to uh, good way to look up to. It is Friday the thirteenth, isn't it? Interesting. So fear to beard, I'm thinking about going Harley. Um, I have oh I, I think I definitely want a cruiser. Um, I've owned um, my first vehicle, or first motorcycle was a standard, a GS500F Suzuki 2006. I've also had a uh, Honda VTX 1300. I've had an M109R Suzuki Boulevard 1800. I've had a Yamaha FZ6. Um, and then, yeah, that was the last one I owned, was Yamaha FZ6. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm ready for a Harley. No, not a sports bike. I think a Harley. I'm kind of, I've kind of worked old Need for Speed out of my system a little bit. Road Glide. Yeah. Definitely, I'm a six foot. I'm six foot three, two hundred twenty pounds. I'm a bigger guy, so I don't want to be. I definitely want a little bit of a bigger bike. I'll have to look at, have to look at it. I just, there's so many different mini models of, of Harleys that it's hard for me to... There's a very specific look. I want an aggressive... I like the aggressive, you know... My, one of my favorite looks on a bike is a... Uh, is the uh, Street Fighter look. Are you going to join the local biker gangs nearby? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. Copy that, Fear. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, my great uncle's a big Harley guy. Well, I didn't ask him about that. I definitely don't like spoked wheels. I like the modern cruiser. Tesla 
and then renting it out by getting the tax credit, right? Like, that might be kind of cool. Because crap, on a $40,000 vehicle, I mean, your payment might be, what, 500 bucks? You know? So you just need to rent that out a few days out of the month, and boom. The car's paid for. Yeah, on Toro or whatever. Or maybe sell, you know, sell, or they could rent it out to someone privately and have them Uber it. Really, Colby? Hmm. Very interesting. Tempting. Very tempting. All right, chat, getting ready to go in the class here. Catch you guys in a bit. I'm gonna get my sweat on. Compete, fight, sweat and bleed. All that good stuff, so catch you guys later. Not sure what exactly gonna be streaming later on. Hopefully something other than driving, but catch you guys in a few.